हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर भाग्यश देशमुख फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन विल बी स्टडिंग द फेल्यूर ऑफ सिंपल मशीन एलिमेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द फेल्यूर ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन द इक्वेशन फॉर टिपिकल मशीन एलिमेंट्स अंडर वेरियस कंडीशंस ऑफ लोडिंग दीज फेल्यूअर्स एंड द इक्वेशन डेवलप विल बी यूजफुल फॉर डेवलपिंग द डिजाइन इक्वेशन फॉर टिपिकल असेंबली ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स ओके लेट एस मूव फर्दर let us make the earlier component more complicated now we have seen a bar which is loaded under tension we made that bar a hollow the side view of the bar was like this inner circle and outer circle the top view if i try to indicate it's like this i need to make this component hollow then further due to additional need we drill a hole in this component in the front view you can see it like this there will be no hole over here the reason is already the material is removed in the side view also i can show the component this is the change in the component if one try to identify the area one need to think upon it the force is p the component is loaded as in tension outside diameter over here for this circle is d1 the inside circle diameter for this circle or this hollow portion is d2 and this if i extend this dimension is small d you can see over here the circle is having the diameter equal to small d if i take some area or take some section over here some plane and try to look over here the area the area is like this inside circle outside circle but i need to reduce this is the drilled hole therefore if i take a cross section over here this is going to become dark lines and only the shaded area is available to resist the applied force here again the outside circle diameter is this is d1 this inside circle diameter is d2 and this dimension is small d i need to find out that area let us try writing this equation p equals pi by 4 d1 square outer circle diameter minus inner circle diameter pi by 4 d1 square minus d2 square let us try establishing it this is pi by 4 d1 square minus pi by 4 d2 square but friends here is a hole therefore net area available is this much i need to reduce a strip over here this small strip and this small strip at the bottom if i go to find out the area it is d1 minus d2 why because this dimension is d1 minus this dimension is d2 
but it represents only the length i need to add to its width and therefore this dimension is small d i need to multiply with small d this is the area of solid bar this represents the area of hollow bar or the part removed and the removed area is represented by pi by 4 d2 square therefore this is a net area available minus this strip and this strip d1 minus d2 into small d but as the component is loaded under tension why because if i again extend it the force line of action of the force acting on the component is perpendicular to the area resisting the failure i can say that this failure is tensile failure therefore i can use sigma t as the corresponding stress and mention that this component is under tension let us go for the next case another case of tensile failure is indicated for a bracket let us see a bracket okay this is the bracket and at this location i want to apply a pull if i want to apply a pull this portion is to be constrained here the diameter of the outer circle if i take the dimension this diameter it is capital d the dimension over here is small d and the thickness of this plate is small t let us see this component how it is loaded the top view of the component if i draw and the front view then you will understand how the loading is happening this is the component i am going to load with a force equal to p therefore this fix portion will have a reaction equal to p it is the resistance offered as indicated over here this dimension i will show that this dimension is capital d and the inside circle diameter is small d and the thickness of this plate is small t now what will happen to this component the component under tension i am thinking of it is possible that i am going to fit a pin over here the pin may be located like this it will come out from the bottom and to this pin i am going to apply a pull and that is going to cause tension in this bracket this is obviously a solid pin and i am going to pull it so that the pin is going to impart load on this bracket here the assumption is pin is safe pin is not going to fail therefore it is the bracket that is going to fail let us see how to proceed with this the bracket will fail as shown here i am showing the failure of the bracket
and the remaining part the failed portion the pin is going to pull this half circle a semicircular plate the piece it is pulled over here and the failure is going to happen at this location and therefore i need to write the equation for it as the force is perpendicular to this area i need to use sigma t as the stress p capital d minus small d y capital d minus small d let us see this dimension is capital d this dimension is going to be equal to small d and the thickness of the plate is indicated as small t therefore the net area of this zone is capital d minus small d multiplied by t therefore it is capital d minus small d linear dimension multiplied by the other dimension to get the rectangular area d minus d into t multiplied by sigma t that is going to give me the design equation for this component and as the component is having the load the failure zone will be having the area uh, the line of action of force perpendicular to it i can say that it is a case of tensile failure thank you